Do you have the items you need to be prepared for all your chicken's emergencies? Welcome back. I'm Kelly from Bok Bok Bouquet. Today we're going to be going over a complete first aid kit. These are items that I either use all the time or I have on standby just in case they are ever necessary. When your chicken is having an emergency, you don't want to spend time driving across town trying to find the product you need and maybe they're sold out so you have to order online, wait days in the mail when your chicken's life could be at risk. So these are some things that it's good to have in stock already. Be prepared for that emergency before it happens. So I'm gonna go over some of my must-have products and some things that I have just in case. First things first, let's go into wound care. So if your chicken gets a cut or a scrape or it gets bit by another chicken and it's bleeding, you're gonna to wanna to rinse. You're going to want to rinse the debris out of the wound. We have an outdoor sink, so we usually use that. Or you can use saline solution, sterile water, get the debris out of the wound. Another great product to have on hand, readily available at any supply store, pet store, tractor supply, local feed store, Veteracin. It is an antimicrobial spray. It'll clean the wound. My top product that I think everybody should own, Wound Dust. What is it? <laughs> wound Dust, Wonder Dust, Quick Stop. There's a few different brands. It's essentially like a cornstarch material. Put this on the wound, after you clean it, it'll stop the bleeding, it'll change the color so chickens won't want to pick it, it'll heal the wound faster. <laughs> He's going today. This is a must have product to me. These two, I use the most out of anything. Must have. And some honorable mentions. Hen Healer and Blue Coat. I don't really like to use these products, but I do have them on hand. The Hen Healer is just a little messy, but it is blue, so it'll distract them from the red color because we all know chickens love red, and so they like blood. A little controversial, it does say for dogs and horses, so it is said that it's not for meat or food producing animals like chickens, so maybe for roosters, but just, just something to keep in mind that it does not have an egg withdrawal time period. And I don't like how messy it is personally. I love to use wound dust, but honorable mention, blue coat. Some other things you want to have for wound care maybe on hand. I have here some popsicle sticks, some gauze, some sutures, if you have to do some makeshift stitches, some wound wrap, some tape. Also have tweezers, scissors, and if you need to trim nails, good to have. If they get a, like a splinter, you need to cut some tape or cut anything. Now I'm gonna go into my biggest must have product because if you need this, you need to act fast to have the best and fastest rate of recovery. You need to have yourself a good antibiotic because if you need an antibiotic, you need to act quick for best chance that the chicken will recover. I like Thailand 50. There is also LA 200, but Tylen 50 is my preferred. Make sure you have a good antibiotic. And along with a good antibiotic, make sure you have needle syringes. You can get these at any local feed store. Must have, make sure you have this already because if you need it, there's no time to waste. If you find yourself needing to give your chicken an injection and aren't exactly feeling confident, check out our video on how to properly give an injection to poultry. Another thing that you need to have if your chicken is sick, Oral syringes, you can get these at any local pharmacy if, to administer if they're not drinking to water or liquid food. These are needless syringes, they're just oral only. They're just an irrigating syringe. That's it. Another necessity that you need to have if you raise baby chicks or have a sick chicken is have yourself a good vitamin and electrolyte. I use Quick Chick. If they're sick, you add this to their water. It also helps when you get baby chicks in the mail. Every so, even in the summer, this is a great option to add to their water because just like we like to have Gatorade when we're sick, chickens need electrolytes. Don't overuse them though. Another thing to add to their water, I like to add to their water is I like to have apple cider vinegar on hand. Again, don't overuse this e either. Once a week we add this to the water just as kind of like a preventative and it's like a holistic way to get chickens probiotics. Here's a probiotic from Save a Chick. If you have a sick chicken that was just on antibiotics or something, this is another great thing. So we got the trio electrolyte, apple cider vinegar, 
probiotic. I don't use all these things at once, use them separately, but these are great things to add to the water if your chicken is sick. Another great product to have on hand for sick chickens is NutriDrench. Add this to their water, some great vitamins, and it'll give them that kick they need to get some little energy in them. Let's talk about another product that you should have in your cabinet ready to use just in case for emergencies. Corid. Coccidiosis is no joke and you want to be prepared or else you will have rapid rate of death. Make sure you have this in stock. Coccidiosis is a thing with baby chicks, poo in the water, muddy, rainy areas if you live. Make sure you have Corid on stock. They come in liquid and powder found readily available at your local tractor supply, any feed store have cord in stock, be prepared for coccidiosis. Luckily, it's something I've never had to deal with, but I have friends who have, be prepared. Another good thing to have on hand is super glue. You never know when you're gonna need it. We had our duck and our chicken collide for a treat the other day and the chicken's beak accidentally pecked the duck's bill and it cracked a little. So after we got the bleeding to stop, I glued it shut. It's as good as new now. Another thing that I have in here is VetRx. It's just kind of like a holistic preventative. This will not heal or treat any respiratory disease. It's just Vicks Vapor Rub for chickens. Now let's get into vitamin deficiency issues with chicken. It can cause curl toe paralysis if your chicken has become lame and it doesn't have any sort of wound or broken bone or it's not Merrick's disease. Look into vitamin deficiencies. Here I have poultry cell, which is a liquid vitamin. And then I have Poultry Booster, which is the granular form. And it is from Rooster Booster, the same company that does NutriDrench, except NutriDrench lacks riboflavin, which is the main cause of the curl toe paralysis. So make sure that you have these and they have riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B in there. The last product for vitamins is Brewer's yeast, nutritional yeast, I like this one from Bragg's. You can add this to their food. It is rich in niacin, which ducks actually need too, so this is another good thing to add to their feed to help with vitamin deficiencies. Let's talk egg bound. Epsom salt, add this to their soak. That's a great product to have on hand too. Another thing that I have for prolapse dents is raw honey. So that kind of goes in with egg bound. Here's something to have on hand. It also is antibiotic, antimicrobial, antifungal. So honey is great for wounds. Just don't use it around other chickens if they're not separated. Let's see what else is in my bag. Oh, Tums. Grind this up, calcium. Need that for egg bound. Now let's talk pests. Let's talk mice and lice. So white vinegar, wash, Soak in white vinegar for scaly leg mite. And then smother. You could use coconut oil or Vaseline. But coconut oil is a little more expensive, so you want to soak and smother. This is something that you can use for scaly leg mite. And for poultry lice and mites, Elector PSP. It's a little pricey, but a little goes a long way. This might last you forever, actually. The other day we treated our entire flock. We mixed up about 10 spray bottles with this and it's still completely full. You can spray down your bird and you can spray down the coop and it kills all nits, lice, everything. So Elector PSP, if pests are plaguing you, this is what you need. <laughs> DE, diatomaceous earth. So DE, you can add to their dust bathing area and it could be a good preventative to keep pests away. So that's something that like every chicken owner should have on hand. But be careful, do not breathe this in. Wear a mask, respirator when using this. It can be a little dangerous, so be careful not to breathe it in. But DE is something great to have on hand. Here is everything that I have in our first aid kit that we either use all the time or we just have on hand just in case for emergencies. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll list every product mentioned in the description below. If there's anything that you find essential that we didn't talk about, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Let us know. Thanks so much for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe now to keep up with our weekly uploads. Here I'll leave you with two other videos to help you with your sick chickens. I'll see you next time.